All right, guys. I'm going to talk about my Ray-Ban stories since I've been using them for well since November the twentieth. A few weeks. Um, this is what they are. Um, I got the sunglasses one. I'm sort of thinking should have got them with the clear lenses. I'll put them on for a sec. Um, and I'm umming and ahhing to be fair because it might be better off set up as proper glasses. Uh, but then again, in the summer, this is exactly what I'll be wearing in sunglasses. So, um, how do I rate them? Now, I was wearing these in London last week. Um, it's about minus two. And I noticed the app started uh, freezing up. Um, I'll stick some videos on after this. Because you'll be able to see what the effects were. Because um, it started slowing the camera and stuff down. Because uh, it's so cold. But I do find... There's a few things that, that does irritate me. The first one is the app. Um, doesn't tell you when it's full. Doesn't tell you, um, you know, once it's downloaded, it doesn't clear it. Um, and it's not very clear on how to clear the memory either. You know, you got there's a bit of faffing around. It's not like empty phone, you know, press a button and it just gets rid of them. Or um, as the new stuff goes on, it deletes the old. Doesn't do any of that. Um, which is the downside of it, but I'm sure that that's probably something they could fix with a software update, so I'm not saying that's too critical. Um, where did I find them useful? Because um, um, I've got this lovely uh, landing pad here. My glasses fit quite well on the top here, so you didn't, for me, even when I'm wandering around, I don't actually have to have them on my eyes. They still seem to record okay, even at this height. Um, that that worked quite well. Um, I find the ability to have them on your face and not be wandering around with a phone like this also makes it um, less noticeable. Um, bear in mind it's got a big beaming light on saying it's recording but I think, I think there's even something already out on how to remove, <laughs> remove the ring that they put on there to let people know you're recording. Um, I found Generally, they're easy to wear. The microphone picks up well. Um, the short recording times are 30, I think it's 30 seconds, 60 seconds. I think there should be an override on that for, say, three minutes, um, depending on what you're doing. Because um, I know they've sort of set it up, so it's to suit for Facebook, it's to suit um, these short videos. But unless Facebook are paying for them, um, it should be up to the end user. So my view is they should be a bit more capable of overriding, especially if we can get a couple of hours of footage out of it. Um, because I like doing videos when I'm driving, for example, and I, they say, oh, you shouldn't be using many driving. But then I sort of think about this and go, why? Is it because you have to press the button every 30 seconds or 60 seconds to reset it because the camera keeps stopping? Because if it's that, then it's not an issue. It's the same as if you're not answering your phone, it's not as if it's a hands-free issue. And let's be honest, if they went down the route of, oh, you know, it's just distraction, does that mean everybody sits in the car and doesn't speak to each other? It's the same sort of thing. And let's face it, when I do videos where I'm driving, I'm generally talking as I'm going along about just general stuff. It's not as if I'm going, here's the Eiffel Tower over to my right or whatever. It, it's that's nothing to do with it it's more to do with you don't get this all the time where I'm sort of sat around is to give a bit um, a bit more out and about type stuff um, and I know some of you guys actually like the wandering around through the city centres and things like that at different places although uh, I did do Northampton and I just deleted it because it was just a bit grim with the homeless people <laughs> so I just I didn't want to show it to be fair um, um, but I find them fairly practical. Practical. I find that the charge box is pretty good because this has got charger built into it. So when you put the glasses in, the little light comes on, uh, telling you it's charging your phone. Phone again. The app actually tells you the charge level, downloading onto your phone, and or phone, well, let's just say into the app because I've got it on my iPad. It's very easy. But like I said, deleting the old stuff because um, it come up full to me, and I'm like, well, that's great. Because no warning it was full, there's no warning it, that it wasn't clear in the memory and it wasn't clear in the instructions or anything else, that it doesn't delete anything. Um, 
So I would say the instructions aren't great. Um, that's the downside on it for some of the cost 299 quid. Um, but I'm not a fan of Ray-Bans. Um, I try to keep non-political with them, um, but I probably I don't even know what I've spent on their glasses. Well over a thousand, maybe one and a half thousand pounds on glasses from them over the last 10 years. And I find their quality is absolutely crap compared to Prada. Um, when I had some issues with the lenses deteriorating, they weren't completely non-responsive. Um, it wasn't on one set either. It was on three sets from three different countries. So it wasn't even the case if somebody put some dodgy ones in there somewhere. Um, it was a case of they just ignored the emails and that was, what was that about? I don't know, about 500 quid down the toilet for deteriorating glasses. Uh, hey ho, I, I moved to Prada on that front. I've, Prada ones I love, much, much better quality. Yeah, you're paying an extra 100 a pair, but don't you can definitely tell it. Um, but I'll upload some of the videos from London after this one, just so you can see what happens when it, you're out and about and it's cold, because it starts to freeze up a little bit. But during the day, no issues. Um, the night lenses didn't seem too bad either um, it was literally because it was cold um, in the car if you go to my other channel you'll see me actually when I was recording um, in the car when I'm going along um, just wearing my sunglasses now bear in mind this is an important bit the sunglasses weren't on my eyes they're on my forehead um, so I could still see in the dark <laughs> But I just wanted to sort of stress that in case I'm like, hey, should we wear sunglasses in the dark? Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> um, but that just shows, you know, they're fairly practical. Haven't really used on the phone side yet, but I'm going to try that probably tomorrow because I've got a three hour drive somewhere. Um, the speakers seem okay on it. Um, microphone seems okay. I just haven't used it as a phone function. Because um, I've got a set of Bose headphones I use for that. Because I've got the noise cancelling as well, which is really good. Um, would I say they're worth 299 quid? Um, in all honesty, when I'm sitting here holding my phone in my hand, that's the reason I got it, is to stop having to do this sort of stuff. I can, like, like for example, tomorrow, I could hop in the car and just record as I'm driving along. That, that's what I got it for not having to set things up and things like that. So for me, it's a convenience thing. Um, I know some people have said the Bose ones are better as smart glasses, but I wouldn't say these are smart glasses. I would say the design for um, TikTok videos, Reels, um, what's the other one? You know, these short, short videos, that's what they've been designed for. But I do think it actually took the this short time scale out it'd make them more practical because you know when you're walking around um a market or shopping center or something um your head's pretty good um for keeping balance you know if you, you know you, it's quite good at doing that so it does save having to have a gimbal it does mean that your hands are clear so if, let's just say you go go-kart racing perfect for it you know, there's a lot of uses where having a phone isn't practical. Um, that's where I'd say it will sort of come into its own. Um, yeah, so I recommend them, but would I reckon for 300 quid? That's up to you. For me, yes, practically, uh, it's very practical for me. Thanks for watching.